Well, hello, Briggs Church family. Hope you're having a great day. I, I'm excited to be with you today to share with you the details about us gathering together again, beginning on Sunday, June 21st, Father's Day for our worship. I want to give you the details of what that's going to look like. First of all, we are going to have two services, our normal 9 o'clock and 1030 service. We will be adding an extra room for that, so we'll have the worship center and the large room of the kids' kingdom area. That will be overflow where there will be live stream during both services. And because we're having to limit our number to 50 people or less per room, we're going to ask that you register before you attend. We want to make certain that we can stay within the numbers that we're allowed to have and, and be able to accommodate those who show up. So please go to our website right now, and you will find the information on how you can, can sign up and choose which service and time and place you want to attend. Uh, we understand that a lot of you aren't ready to get back out, and that, that's okay. Uh, we are going to continue to live stream our services online on Sunday mornings. Uh, so that will be available for you to watch. We still want to stay connected with you as we have been over the last few months. So if you're not ready to get back out, please, please join us in worshiping that way. As a church, we are committed to the health and well-being of our members and our guests. And we will be following the requirements that have been set forth for us by the state of Nevada. So let me just share with you what the expectations are going to be. Uh, things will be different. And here's what we're expecting for that Sunday. First of all, everyone is expected to practice social distancing, safe social distancing, before, during, and after the service. I know it's going to be hard to do that, but please, out of respect for each other and concern for a body's health and well-being, do that. Second of all, everyone over the age of two will be required to wear a mask when you're inside the building, whatever part of the building that you're in. Uh, if you don't have a mask, we, we will have one uh, extras that we can provide for you. And, and if you're opposed to wearing a mask, that's 100% okay. Uh, we encourage you to stay home and wor worship mask-free there until the uh, uh, mask requirement is lifted. Uh, those who attend will open up the buildings 15 minutes before the service uh, so that we're all not in the same building for an extended amount of time. Uh, there will be no children's ministry at this time, but children are welcome to attend and sit with their parents uh, during the service. And then please stay home if you or anybody in your family has any flu-like symptoms. If you wake up on Sunday morning and that's going on, please Please make that choice to do it. And then last of all, we strongly urge those in vulnerable populations to stay home. Those who are 65 and older, those with chronic lung or disease or heart conditions, those who have moderate to severe asthma, uh, if you're pregnant, uh, if you're immunocompromised, or if you've been told by your medical profession not to get out, please follow, please follow their guidelines. Uh, we know, I know, this has been a time of great challenge for all of us. And uh, we're still not out of the woods, so we want to continue um, to take seriously the need to do this safely, and we will do our best to lead in that as well. Uh, but I can't wait to get back together with you on Sunday, June 21st. Honestly, I can't think of any better way to spend Father's Day than worshiping together with you all. I will ask you to be patient with us as we go through this process. I'm sure there will be a thing or two we don't get right that we'll have to change along the way. Uh, after all, this is the first time we've reopened our services after a global pandemic. A lot of people are working hard right now and will continue to work hard to make sure the building is clean and safe. We will clean both rooms and bathrooms in between services uh, every uh, on Sundays as well. And, and don't forget... Our mission is still to build bridges for people to come to Jesus and grow in his grace. That's not going to change. And we're looking forward to coming together to worship, but then getting back out into the community to try to continue to share the love, hope, and faith that we have in Christ as we seek to serve and love the people of our community. If you have any questions about any of this, if you know someone who isn't online or can't go online to register, you can do that for them, please. Uh, communicate with them. Um, if you have questions, feel free to uh, email me, bill at thebridgereno.com, or call the church office, and we'll get back in touch with you as soon as we can. Uh, again, we are looking forward to coming together on Sunday the 21st, and can't wait to see each and every one of you. 
that day.